Alright, this is Slim Hop. Time for another rant. It's not a rant, this. Yes, the subject matter is something I cover. I've covered it twice, I think. Yeah, this is. I normally rant about Bleach, the anime Bleach. This isn't a rant about it, this is a review of one of the films that they released, and it's called Bleach Memories of Nobody, the movie. And it's like pretty much what you'd expect. It's it takes you have to have seen the anime in order to understand it, really, because none of the characters are developed except for the new ones. So you know, you know what I mean. You expected to have seen it, which is fine. But yeah, what's it? How's it compared to the anime? Now, if, if you know me. One of my main complaints, and one of my two main complaints, the first is how it always repeats all the time. You watch an episode, and next episode, it just just repeats what, what's just happened in the previous episode, and stuff like that. Because this is a 90 minute film, you don't get that, because obviously you've just seen what's happened, so it won't really make much sense, you're supposed to watch it in one go. So you don't get that, which is good. And secondly, one of my big complaints is when they fight, they just talk for about an hour. For, and I hate that so much. In this, you don't get it. They don't talk. They just like say, "I'm gonna fucking kill you," and then they, they do it. well, obviously they don't swear like that. But they like they just say like one line, and then that's it. And obviously they say like the when they unleash their bank or whatever, they obviously say the words which they have to say. But but from that, they don't talk, they just fight. And it's like, well, thank you. But yeah, it's good. It's, it's good. This is a good film. It's, it's um, what's it about? It's about these, these like, the, when does it take place? You see, I'm confused when it takes place because I, I think it takes place just after the bounce storyline. Wait, it can't though, can it? Kruki has got the full powers. You don't get them until, like, after Ichigo's got his mask. So, I don't know when it takes place. You just gotta... I don't know. But the point is, it's about this girl who just randomly appears. And these, these like, big... Um, they're not big, actually. They're like these white creatures appear everywhere. And this girl appears and starts fighting him, and she's like a soul reaper. But Rookie's like, you're not a soul reaper! Stop trying to be a soul reaper! But she's like, yeah. But the point is, something's happening, it turns out, you got your soul society, human world. Apparently a universe is forming in the middle, and it's like pressing against it. And it's causing a lens, so they can see through each, to each other's world, as well. And... For some reason, the people in this other world, in the middle, want this girl. They want her for some reason. And that's what it's about. Ichigo, like, they make friends with her and... They basically, Ichigo does the same thing where he says, I'm gonna protect you! And then she gets kidnapped and he's like, I'm gonna save her! And then the Soul Society's like, I'm not going with you! And then he goes in and then they're like, now I'm gonna go with you! And then they go and... I don't need to explain the story, because if you've watched any Bleach, you know what's going to happen. This is basically Bleach. This I know I was saying that's pretty obvious, but this is basically like when Rukia were locked up. It's that storyline condensed into an hour and a half with a different person that rescued him. It really is. Actually, it is. At the end, it is. You'll know. Just... Alright, it's, it's alright, this... My only concern, it seems a bit pointless. Like the way it ends, it's like the ending. It's like as if notes happened, and you just think when you've seen it, it's like, why have I just watched this? It's not changed anything. Nothing's been resolved. We haven't moved forward at all. So I don't know. Apart from that, it's it's all right. It's to me, if they actually made the show like this. More like this, if they actually move the story forward as quick as this, they're doing this, Bleach would be a much better show if they approached it the same as Memories of Nobody. So, yeah.
yeah, it's good. It's all right. It's in widescreen as well. It's voice acting as atrocious as ever, but it, it's good. It's all right. It's good. But yeah, obviously you can switch it to Japanese if you're not keen on dubs. But yeah, no, I'm not like that. I don't. But yeah, but get a go if you're a fan of Bleach. Obviously, get it. And well, don't. Yeah, just if you're a fan of Bleach, watch it. It's good. You'll enjoy it. I liked it. Obviously, I was still shouting at screen, screen when they made silly decisions and stuff. And Ken Patchy has a fight as well. And as soon as he comes on, it's very right funny. He just he completely destroys the floor. And it's, it's like, yeah, get it, get it. It's very good. But, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're a fan of Bleach, get it. If you're not, don't bother with it at all. Seriously. I'm going to... This is Strictly for fans, alright? Three stars, if you're a fan. If not... Don't watch it, seriously. You, you won't get up from it. So, yeah, it's a bit... I mean, I've been children. That kind of... That did develop characters. It had to. So that... To me, I've been children worked. I know a lot of people who saw that and enjoyed it. Despite not playing the game. But this, I cannot... I don't think it'd work. I don't think you'd get up from it if you haven't seen the actual show. So, don't bother me. All the foot fans... And yes, it's positive. If they filmed it like this, Bleach would be a better show. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Slim Bob. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.